Welcome! In this video, Phil KC3CNX demonstrates how we did satellite contacts at field day. What are we doing here, Phil? Okay, well, uh, what, what, we, what we just did was we tracked an A07 pass over, over North America. A07 is one of the oldest uh, uh, amateur satellites still in, in the air, or actually in space. And uh, so we, we were scanning through the entire uh, downlink band to see if we could we could hear other stations trying to call CQ, and we were we were calling our own jet, Whiskey Three Mike call sign for for our location here to try to make a contact. We heard several people, but I don't think they they heard us. Okay, so show us the equipment that you're using. I'm going to walk around here. Okay, so um, the, the, these two boxes control the uh, the antenna rotators that are outside that blue uh, screen there. Uh, this is a this is an IC 910 H transceiver. Mm -hmm. It's specially made. Uh, I mean, it's a UHF VHF transceiver, but it's specially also made for uh, satellite operation. And um, it's got uh, it's got uh, uh, split band capability. So this band here is the uplink is the downlink band. This is the uplink band, and we're just using a standard mic to uh, to try to transmit. Uh, what we're running here is Mac Doppler. It's a it's a uh, control and tracking software. So it takes uh, it takes the Keplerian elements that you can get from AMSAT, and it it computes where the satellite is relative to your location, and then it can uh, it can move the tracking antennas to track the satellite as it goes across the sky. And it also can adjust the frequencies on the radio so that it can take care of the uh, Doppler effect that you get from the satellite moving across the sky. It's exciting. That is very exciting. And what are you doing with this laptop over here? Uh, this, this laptop is controlling the screen. The, the software is running on this laptop controlling that screen. Controlling that monitor. Yeah. Okay, great. So I'm going to walk around to the uh, antenna. Right. Hey, could you join me sure. just... Don't go outside because it's raining, but if you could just... Uh, I'll okay, go out... I'm totally wet already. <laughs> okay, so here is the satellite antenna. Right. Right. There's the satellite antenna. The near antenna is the UHF antenna, mm -hmm. and the far antenna is the VHF antenna. All right, let me go out there briefly. I think my camera will be okay if I just... Okay. All right, I got it. Okay. Okay, so the, the antenna closest to us is yep. the UHF antenna. The antenna furthest from us is a VHF antenna. The transponded satellites, the, uh, the amateur satellites, have usually either an, a VHF uplink and a UHF downlink, or vice versa. And it, it depends on the satellite which of those. But, th but those are the two frequency bands that you use to communicate with the satellite. Terrific. So, are we are we hoping to get some contacts today? Yes, we're hoping. Robert K K3 Triple R is very experienced in this, and and he's gonna. I am not experienced at all, but Robert is very experienced. So I'm hoping Robert will help us uh, make some contacts. Terrific. Well, this is very exciting. Good luck to you. Thanks. Thank you. You can find out more about our Montgomery Amateur Radio Club by visiting our website www.markclub.org. Bye for now.